This walk will take you on a journey through time. It combines the city's landmarks, whose traditional identity has been preserved, with the legacy of modernity bequeathed by the celebration of the 1992 Olympic Games. The starting point is Masia Canfargas, which lends its name to the neighborhood of Font Canfargas. It was formerly a Romanic defense tower, constructed in the 12th century. The house grew out as new buildings were added, and it is now surrounded by a magnificent Romantic garden. Next is the Calle de Agua Freda, or Cold Water Street, where you may still catch a fleeting whiff of the soaps used to wash clothes in the public washing spaces that abound in the neighborhood of Horta. The Plaza de Eivisa and Calle de Campo Amor are two of the most emblematic sites in Horta, evoking the district's past as a municipality that was independent of Barcelona. The beauty of the many modernist manors blends harmoniously with an undeniable feeling of peacefulness. One of the highlights of this route in the neighborhood of La Clota. The abundance of water made it a fertile region, and each house had its own private well for irrigating the fields. Urban growth almost passed La Clota by, and it maintains a semi-rural feel, making it an idyllic place that is extremely unique in the city. The route will pass by the Granja Vieja, or Old Farm, of Martí Codolar and the Jusana Tower until you reach one of the most emblematic and whimsical constructions of the 1992 Olympic Games, La Seria Sculpture. This work by renowned sculptor Pleis Oldenburg and restorer Puja van Bruggen reproduces a common implement of daily life, as small as a matchbook, on an enormous scale. The remodeling that took place in 1992 also involved the construction of a copy of the Pavilion of the Republic from the 1937 Paris Expo, which also contains a replica of Pablo Picasso's Guernica. At present, this center has one of the most important historic collections in the world on the Second Republic and the Spanish Civil War.